The Federal High Court in Abuja has fixed January 26, 2021 for final judgment to end the lingering impasse that has stopped the Nigerian Basketball Men's League. It will be recalled that Olumide Oyedeji led Kwesi Premier Management Board in 2018 had taken the MBBF to court to stop the Men's Basketball League. With the verdict expected next week, the president of the Nigerian Basketball, Mr. Musa Kida, says he's hopeful that the court will dismiss the allegations against the MBBF to allow the league and domestic players to compete again. We're not able to do that for the last uh, two and a half, uh, three years, because we were actually um, um, shackled in, in, in court, where uh, the people who are handling the Kwesi League Management Board, the former regime, I would say, uh, took us to court to stop us from Nigerian Premier League. They targeted NBBF to stop us from organizing the league. Um, one would have thought uh, that that cannot be very well-intentioned if you really have the interest of uh, the, the players, the, the local players at heart, if you had the interest of uh, the, the clubs, um, and also the interest of the general basketball stakeholders in the country, because that's really all they see. The president of the MBBF says he's upset that Kwesi management will go to court to stop the league they profess to love. On September 15, 2020, MBBF signed a five-year deal with Total EMP worth 150 million naira for sponsorship of the men's Division One and Two League. The partnership is expected to run from 2020 to 2025 and will receive 15 million naira each annually to organize and run the leagues in Division One and Division Two. In the related story, the third window for the FIBA Afro Basketball qualifiers will hold between February 17th and 21. In football, former Super Eagles assistant coach Joseph Erico is dead. Joseph Erico was summer coach of Nepal Football Club in Lagos, where he introduced the Tika Saka football. Joe Erico was part of Nigerian coaching crew of Amadou Shwaibu and Stephen Keshi that qualified Nigeria for the 2002 World Cup in Korea, Japan. Sopriye Jaja, RSV Sports.